We'll keep coming back to you, Mitesh, uh, as the session uh, progresses. For the time being, let's focus on a couple of stocks. Atul Limited, that's one of the stocks on our radar. The stock actually is surging post its quarter one numbers. Sonal spotted that. She's joining in to give us a quick analysis on that. Sonal. Thank you so much for that. Well, Atul Limited's numbers, though are lower on a YY basis, are much better than what the street was working with. And that's the reason why we're seeing this rally on the stock. So if you compare it with the poll, revenues have come in at 1182 crore rupees, largely in line with estimates. But the real beat has come in on the EBITDA at 182 crore rupees versus an estimate of 144 crore rupees. Margins are 300 basis points higher than the poll at 15.4%, ultimately leading to a profit beat as well. Yes, if you look at the numbers, why, why, it is a decline. And if you look at the segments as well, life sciences has seen a 28% decline in revenues. Uh, performance chemicals down 17%. Their EBIT has declined as well, both on a YY basis. Uh, but if you look at the quarter-on-quarter -quarter recovery, that is what the street seems to be liking as well. The performance chemicals EBIT has surged on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Overall numbers have seen an increase on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis as well. Revenues down 1%, but EBIT is up 22%. Operating profit margins are higher by 300 basis points leading to a profit growth of 11%. All this is something that the street is liking. And on the back of this, uh, RT Industries also is at the high point of the day because both these companies, they cater to the discretionary segment. The expectation was that it is going to be very weak because of weakness in the export markets. But since the numbers are not as bad as expected, there is some rally that we are seeing on these counters today. Uh, uh, thanks very much, uh, Sonal, for that. Uh,